Welcome to a Monday edition of Auto Week TV. I'm Ken, and here's what's going on in the car world. Owners of GM's orphaned brands are sticking with the general. Chrysler's Park guys add some bite to the Fiat 500. And we run down the winners from Sebring and Formula One. Okay, let's get this hot lap started. New research shows that many Pontiac and Saturn owners are coming back for another GM car. Automotive News reports that nearly one-third of Saturn owners who trade in their vehicles last year bought another GM product, and nearly four out of ten Pontiac owners did the same thing. Many of those Saturn and Pontiac owners shifted to a Chevrolet. On the flip side, fewer Hummer owners are coming back. Four years ago, the Brawny truck brand used to convert nearly two out of every three trade-ins to another GM vehicle. Last year, that number dropped to one out of every three. GM is working hard to keep owners from its defunct brands in the family, tailoring incentive programs for potential buyers. The Fiat 500 isn't a heavy car, but the Chrysler Group's parts guys have found a way to cut another 200 pounds from the car. The result is a concept car named the Venom. Mopar and Magnetti Morelli created a handful of carbon fiber parts, such as the hood, to cut the weight. And new exhaust and a reprogrammed engine computer boost output to nearly 200 horsepower. The bad news? You can't get these parts for your Fiat here in the U.S. At least not yet. This past weekend brought a couple of major races for motorsports fans. First, there was the 12 hours of Sebring. Audi captured the top two steps on the podium. Meanwhile, the Formula One season got underway in Australia. McLaren driver Jensen Button took the victory, passing teammate and pole sitter Lewis Hamilton at the start. Button held off the two-time defending champ Sebastian Vettel late in the race. Catch up on all the racing action at AutoWeekRacing.com. That's the car news for now. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, enjoy the drive. Catch all the latest auto and business news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek Magazine, and iPad Edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.